What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Pico for Friday Night Funkin'. Let's get started by drawing the face in the center of our page. So we're gonna start right in the middle. We're gonna start with a point. Now we're gonna work our way up towards the left side of the brow. Starting from that point, we're gonna curve this up and then bend that out. Let's go back to the center. We're gonna curve out and then up. And then we'll curve the end of the brow coming down along the side. Starting on the left, spin this out and down with a short line and do the same thing on the right. Let's go to the left side of the brow and draw in the eye. We're gonna start from the top. It's gonna draw an oval. Coming all the way down, round up the eye, and then pull that back up towards the top. And we'll tuck the right eye underneath the right brow. From that center point, we're gonna step out, draw another half oval. Coming down, and then back up. Let's go back to the center. Let's split the brow. Going around, and then up. Let's add the nose in the center of the face. We're gonna start over on the left, curve this up and across, just underneath the right eye. Come down and then in. Now we're gonna shift the mouth over towards the left side. So let's start out here. We're gonna curve this down and then across towards the middle. Let's go back out to the left, step up, curve out and then down. And then we'll draw the bottom of the mouth. Starting back on the left, angle down and in. And we'll curve the mouth, coming down and then in underneath. Let's move down and draw the lower edge of the head. From the side of the mouth, we're going to step out. It's going to curve the head coming down, just underneath the mouth. And then pull that up on the right. And we're going to round out the cheek. Rounding this out and then pulling that in. Let's curve the right side of the head. Starting from the top of the cheek, I'm just going to bend this out around the brow. Pull this up and then across towards the left. And then we'll go back over towards the left side and draw on the ear. Let's start from the end, curve this down and then up. Go out, bend that up towards the top of the ear, and then curve this in and then down. And then we'll draw the fold inside the ear. From the top, we'll step down, curve up and out and then come down along the side. Now we're going to go back to the inside of the ear and draw the edge of the hairline. Starting here, and draw a straight angle line. Going up and out. Curve up and then in, just up above the left eye. Now I just want to pull this down towards the middle. Coming in and then bending that down. Go up and then bend that out towards the right. Now there's three bumps along the top of the head. Let's start from the side of the ear. Start by curving out and then up. Round it out and then pull that back in. And then we'll draw a larger bump. Starting up here, curve this out and then up towards the top. Let's round out the end. I'm just gonna pull that in and then down towards the top of the head to right about there. And we'll tuck the third bump in behind, going around and then tucking that in, leaving a little overlap on the inside. Now that we complete the head, we're going to move down over towards the left side and draw the hand holding the mic. We start on the outside, curve the hand coming in and then down towards the first finger. We're going to round this out, coming around and then back out. Let's add two more fingers, starting up here, come down, bend that out. I'm going to do that one more time. Let's separate the fingers. From this point, curve up and then out. Go to the bottom point and do the same thing. Now I'm going to go back to the outside and draw in the knuckles. Starting from the top, I'm just going to round this out and pull that in. Curve this out and then down. And then do that again, going out and then down towards the bottom of the hand. Let's connect the left and right side with a slight curve. Coming down, and then across. Let's tuck the top of the mic in behind the top of the hand. We start on the left side, we draw a large circle. Going all the way around, up towards the head, and then back in. Now the mic's gonna come down underneath the hand. So we're gonna leave a gap, draw two straight angle lines coming in towards each other. Close off the bottom with a straight line. 
and it will add that texture inside the mic, leaving a gap in the center at the very top. Go to the left, curve out, and then down in behind the hand. Go over towards the right, come down, and bend that out. Let's add one more curve. Stepping out, going around, and in, and the same thing on the right. And then we'll draw three more curves going in the opposite direction. Let's start on the left side. We're going to split the circle in half. Going across, and then down. Move up, draw that same curve along the top and the bottom. Now with the hand and mic in place, we're going to draw on the arm. Starting from the inside of the mic, we'll curve the arm coming up and in underneath the head. And then from the top, curve the arm coming down. Just bend that out towards the elbow, curve out and up in behind the hand. Now you want to find the halfway point between the top of the arm and the elbow. Draw a short angle line coming down and in, curve the body going out and then down towards the hip. And going back to the top of the arm, add the edge of the collar, coming down and bending that up. And it will draw on the right side of the body, going out and then bending that down toward the same height. Let's connect the left and right side of the hip with a curve. We go up and then bend that down. Now we're going to continue working down towards the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the center of the body, step down, draw a straight angle line from left to right, going up and then across. And then from the center of that line, draw a straight angle line coming down and out toward the left. Straight in with a short line, curves down and then out towards the left. And then from here, we'll work our way over towards the left. Let's we'll start down here and draw a curve, going up toward the top of the foot and then bend that down. Let's go back up to the left hip, draw a straight angle line coming down and out, and down and in, and we'll curve this out and then down towards the left side of the cuff. Let's go over towards the right hip, draw a short angle line coming down and out, curve down and in, go up and out with a short line, and then pull this straight down toward the top of the foot. And then we'll curve the bottom of the pant, coming down and just tucking that back in underneath the left leg. Now before we draw on the feet, let's move back up and draw on the pockets. On the left side, we're going to step in, draw a straight angle line coming down and out, and go up and out. Let's go over towards the right side, step in, come down and out, and then go up towards the side of the leg. Now from the outside corner of the pant, we're going to curve the foot going out and then down. Let's start on the left. We'll curve this out and then down toward the bottom of the foot. Go to the inside, curve out and then down. And we'll connect the ends with a curve. Coming down toward the middle and then bending that back up. Let's go all the way over towards the right side, curve the foot going out and then bending that down. Flatten off the front of the foot. Now we're going to curve the front of the shoe. Coming down and then bending that up and then come straight in behind the left foot. Now we're going to add some detail to the shoes. Let's start by adding a thick sole on the bottom of the feet. On the left side, we're going to step up, just trace that same curve, coming down the middle and then back up. Now on the right foot, step up, draw a straight line coming across, curve down, and then up towards the toe. Let's add the laces on top of the left foot. Starting on the outside, we're going to leave a gap, curve up, and then down. Draw two short lines coming down, and it will follow that same curve going across. Let's leave a gap and do the same thing, going up and then down. Come down along the sides and close off the bottom. I'm also going to add those circles on the outside edge of the foot. Starting on the left, step in, curve down, and then bend that out. Go to the right side, step in, and do the same thing. Let's move over and draw a half circle on the inside of the right foot. We come down and then bend that up. And then we'll add the laces. From the outside of the leg, step out. Curve out and then down. Flatten off the end with a short angle line. 
follow that same curve going up. I'm gonna do that one more time. Stepping down, follow that same curve, flatten off the end, and go back up toward the top. Now let's go up to the right side of the body and draw the hand holding the gun. We're gonna start with the top edge of the thumb, starting right here, curve up and out toward the top of the thumb, curve down and then out, and round up the tip of the thumb, and then pull that back up. Let's go to the outside point of the thumb, curl the fingers going up and then down. Round out the bottom, go back up, round out the top finger. Now from the bottom, we're just gonna curl the finger going across and then down. Round out the finger and then pull that up underneath the thumb. Let's go to the top finger, curl the finger going up down and then in behind the thumb. Now that we have the thumb and the fingers, let's draw the bottom of the handle. Starting underneath the thumb, start with a straight line coming down, angle up and out, tuck that up underneath the bottom finger. And then from the outside corners, draw a short angled line going out towards the side, connect the bottom with a straight angled line, and then we'll pull that up underneath the bottom finger. Now I'm going to go back and finish off the hand. Starting from the inside of the thumb, curve around and then out. Step back to create an overlap, come down and out in behind the handle. I'm going to go back to the top of the body and draw on the shoulder. Starting from the top, angle down and out, curve out and then down in behind the body. I'm going to step down, draw the top of the arm, going out and up in behind the thumb. Come down toward the bottom of the hand, come down and then in behind the body. Now the easiest way to draw the gun is to start with the inside face. Let's start from the outside of the thumb, draw a straight angle line, going up and out towards the right. And then from the inside of the thumb, draw a straight line going up underneath the head. Go to the outside, draw another straight line going all the way up towards the top. I'm gonna to follow that same angle line, coming down and in behind the head. Let's go to the outside corner, draw a straight line going out go up to the top. We're going to start with a short line going across. And then from here we're going to draw that same angle line going up and out. And at the end we'll draw a circle going all the way around and then back up towards the top. Let's trace that circle along the inside and then we'll fill the center circle in black. Let's go to the bottom of that circle, draw that same angle line, coming down and in. Connect the top and bottom with a curve, going around and then out like a half circle. Let's go back to the outside, curve the gun going up and then bending that in. Let's move back down and draw the trigger and the finger. Starting underneath, draw a straight line coming down, come straight in behind the first finger. Go back up to the top, draw that same angle line going up and out. I'm just going to trace this along the outside. Let's go up to the top of the trigger, curve the finger going around and then down. Let's go to the outside corner of the gun, draw that same angle line coming down and then in behind the trigger. Let's go in and add some detail. Starting along that bottom line, we step up. Draw another straight line going across, leaving a gap on the outside. Draw two straight lines going up. And we'll close off the top with another straight angled line. Let's go up on the side of the cheek. Draw another straight angled line going across. Draw a shorter line going up. And we'll fold that back in behind the top of the cheek. Let's go to the outside, step down, draw a circle. And we'll add a rivet on the bottom corners, drawing a smaller circle on either side. Add one more on the top left. And we'll separate the inside edge of the muzzle, stepping out. Just gonna follow that same curve going around towards the outside. Let's go to the top left corner, draw a curve going up and then down. Add another smaller one on the inside. 
And that's pretty much it. There's Pico from Friday Night Funkin'. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.